Sorry, I was scratching my nuts. Thank you Such for a that satisfying being, feeling. Th thank you for that being the first fucking sentence you know, of the you stream know when you're scrotum, Stop, this part where please, it's just like bald please, and there's no Justin, hair and it's really we're screaming. Just my favorite. Please. My favorite part is when it in the spot that attaches to your thigh. Can we not? <laughs> that like little crease there is like the best. <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> you know, we talk about ball sack itching too much. What about what about the actual shaft? <laughs> Anyways, welcome to my D and D campaign. <laughs> welcome back to the realm of the devourer. Uh, good time, good time. All so, right. I'll do a quick recap. Um, so we started the last session with you guys just outside of the woods. And then you guys enter the woods, <sighs> tracking. Kind of, kind of got off track a little bit. Found your way back on track. Spent the night there. Woke up a little bit haze, a little bit dizzy. Came, got your bearings, and then trekked right over to the encampment that held the woman in white. Uh, you guys did your little thing, Thesdis and Rowan decided to, uh, try to scare one of them fairly well. Scare all of them, but really scared one of them really well and effectively. A small child tried to stab one of them and succeeded very well, I might add. Almost, almost getting punted. Good start of combat, I'd say. Combat lasted quite a while. One of you guys flying, one of you guys going down... One of you not, someone not even getting hit that often. Actually, still managing to keep their um, shield together. On that, um, I've realized that I missed understood my character level. Um, I thought we got our ability modifier at level uh, 5 instead of 4. So um, I wouldn't have been hit at all that entire combat. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're not the one that went down, though the one that's not even here that decides to go right into fucking combat as a child. That's right. That still gets me. <laughs> what is... It? She has a sword, so... <laughs> I get it, but it's a fucking warlock child charging and stabbing people in the fucking shins and getting punted. <laughs> Anyways. I had, I had to explain to Jacob, like, no, no. It's level 4 you get your stuff, not level 5. He's like, <laughs> oh... So, I've been underpowered this whole time? Yep. It's all good. Oh. You guys still survived. <laughs> um, you guys managed to kill everyone. For some reason, uh, you guys proceeded to touch the woman when Roderick told you to refrain from such things. Rowan that was getting really little... only one of us, and then the other one had to undo his mistake. Rowan, Rowan finding her quite fetching. Uh, Thesda's having a diff having her have a different effect on him. Ro uh, Thesda's still uh, trying to... Female. Whatever, fuck it up. I mean, it's kind of hard when your voice sounds like this. Anyways. I'm not talking in character, am I? Okay, if I switch to your oh. fucking stream right now, you're gonna have a fucking beard. I've known your voice for over three years now. It's kind of hard. Actually, my stream doesn't show my face right now. How? <laughs> oh, that's... Actually, good. You might actually get some viewers then. Go fuck. <laughs> Justin. I will not apologize. <laughs> I don't expect him to. <laughs> Anyways, Roderick shows up after the whole fight. Um, and then tells you guys that you guys get to meet the Devourer and that you need to accept some terms first before You forgot about him. insulting the females. He yeah, he, they, he does that. I, what do you want? You want a fucking apology? You already got one. Yes, I did. So, um, and you all accepted. Some of you more uh, hesitantly than others. And you guys end up at the lighthouse, which I'll actually move us back to the map here. Because that's where we should start anyways. All right, so yeah. Fire. I like how that's the first thing that you fucking catch on to. First thing you see. Anyways. So, yep, you guys end up there. Yep, at the top of the watchtower, you get to see the Devourer, which I really don't think I went over what he looked like. You did, but... Uh, I think I, I did. 
I think I did it quickly, but anyways, um, so you meet him and, you know, grabs the girl, sucks out her power, rips her heart out, kills her. And you find out it's just a basic town woman, little farm girl, that you brought to get murdered. <sighs> and then he gave you everything that you guys wanted, to an extent, along with some items that'll help you with your journey to get what you desire most. And we'll leave off, and we left off on you guys all coming back from that shrouded room, back to the lighthouse. I'm um, in front, and you're all just in front of the devourer. He also told you to figure out a fucking name for your group. Oh fuck! What? I completely forgot about that. <laughs> you yeah. Did? Yeah. And after at, at, I made sure to mention it to every single one of you that uh -huh. it's in your best interest to stay together. Figure out what I should call you. I'm pretty sure you didn't tell me that. Pretty oh, sure I did. We talked I, a lot about I, a lot. He complete. I completely spaced out on that. There was a lot. I'm pretty sure I told you. If I didn't, I'm sorry. But I, I want to say I made a point to say it to everyone. <laughs> okay. If not, four that's my us? fault. There's four um, of you, yeah. So you're all kind okay. of just in front of the devourer now that you Josh all got your Josh doesn't have a say on this because he's not here. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. No. Uh, but he doesn't have a, what, doesn't the have a pals. No, no, no. That's no, part of the recap. You no. all have tattoos now. Go fuck yourselves. None of that, Irby. None of the pixie pals? No. Come on. We no. have matching tattoos. No. Come on. Okay, is this all in, <laughs> is this all in character? No. I'm not talking no. in Tez Tez this. He's because not talking if as you Rowan. said pixie pals, the devourer would be very happy to hear that. <laughs> And now you no. know you'll say it in your accent. No, 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 no. I'd I recommend the. <laughs> Let's make a cannon. Stab you. We need some time to converse before we come up. With <coughs> oh, that's that's fine. I have a a body to get rid of. He kind of just walks away and grabs the body and goes towards the nearest window and throws her out of it. Oh, Thesdis, real quick. Do you want the heart? I'm just going to throw it out the window. Your silence tells me. She, she's kind of just, like, staring at you like, what the fuck? Yeah, so he just, he just basically just tossed her right out the fucking window. Quirky quartet. I will stab you. <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were get, we were going somewhere with the demons from last time, since we we acted like de a bunch of demons against that last group. Okay. Dingo demons. Dingo ding what? <laughs> I don't know. I like alliteration. Okay. I'm just you know what here. Give. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a thing. Party name Jen. <laughs> You'll you will uh, see that the devourer kind of walks away from you and starts talking with Roderick. All right, and you all can see that Roderick has a very <laughs> defeated and angry look on his face. <laughs> uh, Thes, this is just smiling in his direction. <clears throat> oh, I saw you had. Found a good name. No, I, um, I was laughing. I was laughing at Roderick's whole thing. Yeah. I do believe they at the Quirky Quartet is a fantastic name. No. Alright, what about the Pixie Pals? <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. You hear from across the room. You hear from across the room. I like that one. As he goes back to talking to Roderick. Um, How about... I don't think this is a good one for us, but I like the name of it. Pure Warheads. <laughs> it's not good for us, but it's a good fucking name. What are <laughs> other names for four? Quad. Uh... 
Ooh, I got it. Yes. Stalkers of Desire. Stalkers of Desire. Because that's what we're doing. Yeah, but the fact you decided to use stalkers makes us all feel like a bunch of creeps. It's, oh, on the, it's so Good. on the nose. I, I, I look. I this is quite literally. I can share my screen with y'all. It's, it's literally what. It's literally one of the things that's on here. Like it well, didn't to me. <laughs> pro, uh, pro, pro, I mean, text Josh. See if he wants it. Stalkers of desire. I could find something better, like stewards of desire. Josh likes Zoomerton McFieldville. Let's not. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> Josh dies. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here to play. No, you're not. Devils. Ooh, of ha- or, uh, there's uh, demons, of de- demons of desire or protectors of desire. I kind of like. I kind of like demons of desire. Hello, friend. Yeah. Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. And that's kind of where I'm resting on. All right. Oh, hello, friend. Um, you guys haven't said it in character yet. Clouds. Uh, how? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, who should take? Who should take credit for this name? You take credit for the desire, then I take the. Demon. I, I'm my name is my my, my yeah. human name is quite literally demon. Oh, forget that part. I didn't know that part. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Like, if you cannot say my name correctly, you may call me demon. That was like in the first session. Yes. That was like two months ago. Yes. So I will take credit for demon. Okay. Okay, then I'll take desire. <laughs> Does that mean that white just gets of? <laughs> Could be worse. That that makes uh, the other one just the period. <laughs> Exclamation mark. No, stop. It'll be... Poor Astra. Get it, because it's in... What do you think, Jacob? Um, You're the only one that hasn't um, really said anything. J- Jacob? Sorry, I'm also trying to build another fucking character, so Josh will get off my back. Oh, and you have two months. He just wanted some, he just wanted some ideas. If you guys don't yeah, have Yeah, I, I, I also fine. have to learn how to build a character. Yeah. And a totally new thing that yeah. I've never touched before. Which means I will probably make five characters before I submit one to Josh. Fair enough. I'm still in the process of making mine, so you have plenty of time. Uh, oh, did, the, 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 do you have any objections to that one? No, not really. Okay. Better than... It's better than Pixie Pals. It is better than Pixie Better than Pixie Pals. Fucked in my mic. There we go. You can hear me again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It is indeed better than fucking Pixie Bal- Pals. Fucking Christ. Quirky Quartet. <laughs> I will stab you. You deserve to get stabbed one of these days, <laughs> Justin. Your, your shit puns are... <laughs> They'll be the death of me. I'm sorry, like... Remember that 24 line thing that I wrote for Kirk? That was yeah. just for fun. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <It's> like... <coughs> okay. So you guys resting on Demons of Desire? Demons of Desire, yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, if you guys were to check your notes, I added a little thing so that says "Demons of Desire." That's where you can write your notes. Pug. We will never. Or it, it could also it could also be a wagon or whatever you'd like yeah. for a joint inventory. Yeah. I was gonna say like, hey, we will never use it because we are dumb fucks. Yes. Yeah, just figure it out. Yes. Anyway. 
So. All right, so he, he's still sitting over there talking. So uh, you yeah, guys try to get his attention? Yeah. No, it's fine. I, I, I was going to turn to the rest of the party thing. And I'm like, so, if we are to stay together, do you have, does anyone have anywhere they specific they need to go? Oh, fuck. Um... Uh, hell, I guess it depends if Devourer has another mission for us right away. Yeah, to be fair, he just said that we can do what we wish and that he would send us on missions to collect more of... I'd gesture to the bloodstain. Mm -hmm. um, and that our... Tattoos should protect us from their influence now. Um, I need to head closer towards my... Uh, towards Mount Sacred. That. I can be persuaded to go elsewhere first, if needed. White? I don't have anywhere I need to be. Hmm. And then I suppose it is just Esther, but she's been unexplicably quiet as of late. So. It starts to approach you after hearing that you guys are already settling on what you want to do. <clears throat> kind of puts Roderick in front of him a little bit. It's just like, so you found a name? Indeed, we have. Well, let's and hear it. Because I do not like the inflection in which you say the last word, I will say it, uh, Rowan. Apologies. No, not really. Ever you desire. <laughs> <laughs> That's my line. <sighs> can, can, can I hit him? Whatever you desire. Hmm. Max of both. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are, we will be named the Demons of Desire. That is awesome. I have many groups out there, but none of them quite often like to play with the Desire. That's usually me. That's why I'm named after it, kind of. But anyways, we'll roll with that. Now... I heard you discussing on things that you wanted to do Indeed. in the meantime. You wanted to go home, kind of home. The white one doesn't care. Small one has no say yet. Kind of probably thinking a little bit, but Rowan, I th what do you think of this? Well... I will do whatever you ask, Devourer. If yes, that I means <laughs> going to uh, get another one of these uh, special people. The it's thing so is, good. the thing is that once once one of them gets purged, it takes a little bit for another to appear. That's why I want you to keep yourselves occupied, develop your strengths. However, you do like bounties, say the least. I do. There is a, a, a bounty near the Forest of Plenty that uh, you may bring back to me. It's nothing like the person you brought back to me. I'll just exchange gold for, her, for them. And uh, you can just bring me their head. Or you can just have a pixie send it to me too. They do like flesh. And then you can continue to mount sacred for what Thesdis needs. Uh, I think that is a fair deal. What do you guys think? If it is necessary. It's only a little bit out of the way. You're mostly just off the you're mostly just off the beaten path, really. I suppose we could always send Roderick to deliver the head afterwards. 
Just smiling at Roderick. Roderick kind of goes, Pfft, and kind of looks away. And the Vower kind of looks at him with a little disdain. First time you've actually seen him look, like, unpleased. Well, in order for you to get the bounty, you need to go to uh, the Mount Sacred checkpoint first. That's where the bound. That's where you'll find information on where to go. I know you're. Fam I know you're f from the forest, but the person you're trying to find moves around. It's quite frequently. So there'll be somebody there with the same tattoo that'll give you the. That'll assist you. Do I have to show him my tattoo? <laughs> Actually, you should already be able to see all of yours even through clothing. Oh, God. So if you look around, you can actually see a little black shadow underneath every, uh, right, where the, right where the tattoo is. But for all of you, you only see one wing of it. You can see the outline, but only, one, only the wing is filled in. Okay. I believe I said, what was it? There are four wings, a tail, and a head, and a body? Mm. I think I said four or six wings. I don't know. Mine was pretty small, just on the palm, webbing to the palm of one of my in my left hand. Yeah, it just downsized. Um, it's um, it's yeah, it's four wings, a head, a body, and a tail, kind of similar to a dragonfly. But mo but the wings are more, you know, fairy like. So if but you guys look has, around, he you has a tramp stamp. <laughs> yep, and that's why I said the tail goes body. down his ass. So you would see that it's all kind of. Uh, uh, shadowy. It's like, so you just need to look for that person with that tattoo. Don't get them confused with another. You know, they, they also travel independently. You don't want to, you, you just make sure you pick the right one. I mean, you're a bounty hunter. You should see it. You should know your kind. Yes. I would say that's racist, but we'll see. It's an occupation, not a race. Mm. He just shrugged. <laughs> New will look the same to me. <laughs> oh, hell, bounty hunter! Hey, it's racist. <laughs> That's bigotry. Um, and there is, and then just watch your pixie thesdis. Watch where it goes. That'll help you find what you want. Ivory, there might be something in Mount Sacred that might even benefit you. Neat. And he kind of looks at Astra, kind of just twiddling with her thumbs. Picking out dirt underneath her fingernails with her knife. Kind of just kind of looks at her and goes, <sighs> Writes down a note, gives it to her. Alright, so the plan is you're going to go to the checkpoint first. Find your bounty and then head to Mount Sacred. I don't... Sounds like it. I guess you said you said the checkpoint is at Mount Sacred. Mount no. Sacred checkpoint. No. I'll move you. I'll move you to the map real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Mount Sacred checkpoint is in in between Castle yeah. Paradise and the Keep. Yeah, you're all the way on the bottom of the map. You gotta go. Oh, all there's the a the checkpoint. Th oh, yeah, yeah, we can make it. Yep. That. So you guys came from here, actually, like right here in that opening of the forest, got teleported all the way over here. Yes. And now you have to go all the way up here. Yes. But we're getting teleported to Mount Sacred. Check. Who said that? Isn't that what he said? And <laughs> I'm pretty sure he told us that he was going to be sending us out of here. Yeah, he's going to send you out. He didn't say he was going to bring you that far. <laughs> Asshole. We'll be back to the lighthouse. <laughs> so. Alright, it's a plan. Now there is just one more thing I have to do. And then Avara completely knocks Roderick's knees from underneath him. And kind of kicks him forward, and he's like, Roderick, I am done with you spoiling these gifts I've given you. You've lost your desire. You were so f full of it when I, when I recruited you, and now you just play around and take credit for other people's work. 
you see, I just I want I want you to look at that one particularly. And he points directly at Ivory. And he's like, you see you see what the, what's around his neck there? You see you see that? Look look a little closer. And he kind of picks up Roderick's head and kind of makes him look at Ivory's neck. And uh, Ivory, you would notice too that the same circlet you were given for around your neck is the same one he's wearing around his. <laughs> he's like, you wanted power, and I gave it to you. Now. You're not allowed to do anything with them until I give you strict permission to do so. You're a messenger now. But in your free time, I want you to get stronger. Because there's going to be a time when that one will be stronger than you. And I'm going to want to see how all of that plays out. So why don't you go along and do what you're told? And he kind of lifts him up and tosses him back. And Roderick gives you, like, the biggest... Just shooting fucking daggers at Ivory. And then Roderick... You, you just... Uh, you, uh, just as that happens, you see, I like, raise his hands. It's like, bring it on. And I, yeah, and then Roderick looks back at the Devourer and kind of, like, chuckles a little bit and bows. And he just says, thank you. I needed that extra push. And he's and Devour kind of just looks at him, just kind of nods back, and he goes his own way. Once Roderick Roderick leaves, I'll kind of be like, hmm, I'm kind of sad. He's not as mad at me anymore. Well, he kind of he does. You see him actually go this way, so you still have a chance to say it. He got, he goes this way uh, towards the window. No, it's it's fine. I was I would have waited until he left anyway. Okay. Well, you would see that his wing, his wings would come out, and again, they're 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 wings that look similar to like a dragon's, and it kind of just propels off. All right. So there is a place that all of my devotees or followers or whatever you want to call the people that do my jobs for me. They. All can they'll go down to the under parts of this lighthouse. It's a little uh, little hangout that I've made for them, and it's also a place where you can rest for free. If I can fucking pull it up, jeez. Oh. My fucking tab got deleted. Okay. It's all good. I'll just fucking reprint it. It's only... It, I didn't really do much to the tile anyways, to be honest with you. It's just a fucking picture of a bar. And it'll be very similar to what you've seen before, so... Because I was too lazy to find a new one. <laughs> fucking A, come on. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna make a different Abelith cave. <laughs> probably just keep this... There off. we go. So, okay. So he's like, so... Why don't you all just step up where I am here and I'll take you down. So you guys freely move next to the Devourer. Jeez. Yep. Well, too close, Rowan! I apologize. You see, you like try to get like shoulder to shoulder with him and he kind of just looks at you and takes a like five feet step back. <laughs> Sorry, personal space issues. I understand. I'll move Astra, otherwise we'll leave him behind. Her behind. And I'll move Ivory, since he's working on a character. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Alright. So, uh, and then the staircase... Uh, it's not staircase. The center light, That it kind of just... Again, that's where the um, ritual happened, where you saw the... Well, some of you saw the cir the ritual circles it kind of starts to drop down but the ritual circle and the lights and everything that stays in that center is still there so you're kind of just going down 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 takes about 30 minutes do you guys want to talk during that 30 minute time frame <laughs> um, i got nothing to I'm actually going to be studying the Devourer. 
you will find yourself accelerating as you as the more you go down. So it's like you know how tall this lighthouse is. And you just start quickly going down further and further, faster and faster. Thirty two yeah. feet per second per second. Just keep going. I don't really know that. Yeah. I didn't write down the miles per hour, but uh, do you want me to like run, roll a check or anything? Because I'm basically gonna be taking notes on the devour. Like, uh, uh, what are? Hour. Tell me what you're looking for in particular. Give me three things you're looking for in particular. Uh, appearance is the first one, just so that way I'd be able to call him to mind whenever I need to, and have a general description of him that I can tell to others in case I I need to. And that's all you're looking for is mostly just appearance. You said three things, so that was no, that was one. Give me a second. I know I have uh, a tendency of rushing things. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'll um, mute myself. I want to. I want to know. I want to see if if I can take any images of him, like that I have in his from from the mind there. Uh, and run it back through any religion that uh, and uh, religion notes or stories that I've heard over my time inside the uh, in, inside Mount Sacred. And the third one is I want to under I kind of want to understand his demeanor, like his attitude towards things and everything like that for the half an hour that we're descending. The three things that I'm noting. realized i was fucking muted <laughs> <laughs> two perception two perceptions and one religion check two perceptions one religion gotcha wouldn't actually wouldn't the last one be insight so it'd be demeanor yeah you're right it'd be insight okay so perception religion then insight yep in that order damn i rolled like crap Uh, we'll start with perception. Um, just a, he's kind of, he he's kind of a cloaked figure minus the uh, hood over his head. He has very short black hair and very dark black facial hair, trimmed very well on a chiseled jawline. He's kind of got a pale look to him, but nothing as if like you would believe that he would be hurt by sunlight or or that sort of thing. He's just got a pale look on him. His clothing is got kind of has like a pattern of black and red. Um, but he d but the cloak behind him wavers with shadows. You don't really see any weapons he's holding. Um, he has a pouch, and only a pouch on his right hip. Um, and. Uh, with a 23, you feel like you see something underneath uh, the, the, the cloak rustling around, but you can't necessarily tell. You can't tell if that's the shadow or, or something else. Like fairy? I don't know. I'm asking the wrong guy here. I'm not the devourer. <laughs> uh, religion, religion, you remember reading something because of that perception that kind of helped you a little bit. You remember reading something regarding a shadowy, a, a shadow figure that assisted in the downfall of the Fae Queen? You know, light and dark, good and bad. You can't tell if that's a direct reference to a living being or if it's just, you know, light versus darkness and light being snuffed out by dark that's the closest thing you can get to with that perception check. Insight. He wanted to know more about his demeanor. You kind of feel like he does what he wants, but there's some sort of hidden, hidden, uh, hidden goal he might have from what you've talked, from what you and him talked about earlier. Like you, he he did tell you what he wanted. But Something you're, that, you think? but but you're you know he was telling the truth. But you feel like it's not the whole truth, 
Like he told you a, like a, like a two thirds of a story. Like you just feel like there's this one thing mm. that he's just missing out on explaining to you. I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll jot all that down. <laughs> Rowan, do you want to do anything? Uh, no. All right. Well, since. Jacob left for a hot second. So I'll give you guys five minutes to do what you I need. Was, I have to pee. I was gonna ask. Just uh, I, I was, was actually gonna ask. Oh, uh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was gonna ask him after I finished up, Brian. Like, what is in your cloak? Eh? No. Oh, are you gonna take me out for a drink first before we start uh, getting under what's meaning, underneath these things? Meaning, Rowan. No, meaning the devour. Rowan just wants to get un get. I'm wearing a clothes. cloak too. <laughs> we the, the devourer and Rowan just lock eye contact and look back at <laughs> Bezda together. You boys are immature. Well, you should be more clear with your speech. I don't know. Clear. What is the wrestling beneath your cloak? Looks back at Rowan. So I'm, are you, not, you, I'm still do... not looking at you, Rowan. I'm still looking at the Devourer. Oh, me? Oh. Usually people ask for a... Usually ask to get me a drink before they want to know what's underneath these. Mm, I'd say that's incorrect. You're not much of a gentlewoman, are you? No, I'd say that you don't get much action. Mm. I take what I want. Exactly. So I can promise you that I don't, because I don't want it. <laughs> exactly what I mean. Just like several men don't want you from the looks of it. That is not my problem. Mm, kind of is. But, anyways, I have no desire to tell you. Hmm. You Maybe if you're a little bit more charming, I might. I shoots you a wink. I'll shoot one back. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted from that. I wanted that to be exactly that. I'll shoot one back. You're kind of like your eye. I'm going to say that you blink both eyes, realizing you blinked both eyes. You start, like, trying to blink the other one, but it just turns into a twitch. No, no, no I, I wasn't even, I was going to say, like, I, I just use this, the film over one eye. I don't actually close it. I just film it. <laughs> My, that's uncomfortable. My point exactly. Devara looks back at Rowan and shoots him a wink instead. All right. I did <laughs> want. Wink, <laughs> you did want to get closer earlier. No, no, that, that's no exactly what. <laughs> <you're doing. laughs> mm, such prudes. You cannot Stop, tell but... me that I'm a. What? Whatever. <laughs> you can't. You can't say your words. No, like you cannot tell me that I that I'm. Uh... That I'm trying to get under your cloak in one hand, and then just after I say I'm a prude. That is not how this works. You assured me you weren't. Oh, well, that is true. Would you Fuck rather you. me call you a tease for your half-assed attempt at winking at somebody? Maybe that's just how lizard folk procreate. No, I was just actually curious about what living thing you have underneath your cloak. Besides yourself. Well he would kind of, he would kind of look down at his junk and look back up to you and I was like, well, it does have a mind of its own. Why do you think I'm think just thinking about your junk? I'm talking about just in around your chest and neck area. I'm seeing things move. And just opens up his shirt and looks down, looks back at you, and he's like, huh? I don't, I don't see anything in there. Hmm. I'm just be like, do we need to leave you two lovebirds alone? Oh, God. God no! <laughs> oh, you want us? She's to from. Watch. A... No, it's mostly she's from a different <laughs> place. I feel like she... it would just be awkward the entire time. The I same, mean, don't get me wrong. The same slow the... blink. Don't get me wrong. I think it would make things very interesting, but I don't think her heart's into it. 
more like a dumb you. Now we're talking. Now I feel something moving. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Rowan moved away. <laughs> I was just walking around. <laughs> Someone get me off of this elevator! <laughs> You've got another... I would say that's probably... Well, we've been talking for like five minutes, so yeah, I'd and say I, that's and... probably about 15, 20 minutes. Well, that and how ne long would it have taken... Next time, I'm just to... gonna feather fly out the window. How, how long window. would it have taken uh, me to, to do all the studying thing? Each one took about 10 minutes. I would assume that you were doing this because you were also writing it down and mm -hmm. kind of looking back, writing down, looking back, or how are you doing it? Okay. Were you taking this to memory, or were you writing it down? I was actively? writing it down. Yeah, so I would say in between talking and writing and stuff and taking it out of your bag, putting it back into your bag. Oh, no, I never would have t put it back in the bag if I was still taking notes. I would say about, yeah, I'd say ten minutes each. That's why I had you roll three. Okay. All right, anyone else need to talk about anything else? Oh, uh, uh. Fuck, what was the name of the mountain we're going to? Mount Sacred. Is that... Was it, um... Since I was still making my character, and yes, now I'm fully here. <laughs> um... That was the one he suggested I should go to to find s something that may make me stronger, right? Was yep. the inclination? Yep. Okay. Might benefit you. Alright. Just want to double check. Sorry. That's I will. Say, I will say. Try to keep your connection to the devourer a minimum. While we are there, they do not exactly like him. Or should I say we? As I stare up at the devourer again. Oh, honey. You're going to have to release that resentment sometime. You carry it so well, much in your shoulders, you're going to get back problems. No, no. It's not resentment. I just do not care for you. That's okay. I have multiple clerics of your kind. I'm sure. They're not too hard to come by considering how your people treat each other. Mm-hmm. Looks at your circlet when he says that. Strange about me being one of the one of the only ones that, that is as high up as I am, however. And where you come up with that assumption? Oh, hello, friend. Where? Well, just because. Wait. Just because. Okay. Oh, oh hi, mighty. hello, oh. friend. Did you mean physically high up, or? Oh, hello, friend. No, no, um, I'm, I assume that I'm a little further up the food chain than most of the clerics of the, uh, ancient, uh, the, uh, the Fey Queen. Since you're all... most have to be down on their luck to turn to you. You're assuming you're the only one that found those journal pages. Some of them have very, uh, colorful wording in them. Colorful. That's for you to find. That's why I gave you the little little pixie there to help you find. Hmm. Find more pages and you'll realize what she was really about. Oh, I have suspicions. And the devourer looks back at Ivory. She was known for holding on to some powers as well. Of your kind. Interesting. Looks back at Thesdis. This is something that they've never told you either. Oh, I can't wait for you to find out. And you guys arrive. On that note. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> So since my page didn't load right, my tokens didn't either, so... We're gonna play this by ear. 
Ah, it so is. Guys, and it is similar, just slightly sideways. Oh no, it's the exact same. Yep, and it's and that's intentional because this layout seems very, very similar to the first bar you all remember. Except as the as you guys came to this room, the the tablet, the uh, the stone you were sitting on, just disappeared and you just show up. And I'm going to move your tokens to where you show up. You end up all on bar stools. And the devourer is behind the bar. So what will it be? What will it be? Wait, let, like me, let me guess Ivory. Just go straight to Ivory. Just pours him the same ale that's in his, in his cask. Raise my glass. So he said, he basically said that as he was walking towards Ivory, like, so what will it be? And just walks towards him, pours him the glass, and then looks at the rest of you. Sorry for interrupting, Rowan. Well, I would like it some scotch if you have it. <laughs> I have everything you might desire. Turns around. And you see the pixie, you see him kind of looking for the bottle, and he just snaps his fingers, and a pixie comes from the back here. With a uh, bottle, unmarked bottle, and another pixie comes by and drops a cup in front of you, and he pours it pours it in the glass, and there's ice cubes in it. Or All sorry, right. a singular ice cube, because that's the best way to drink scotch. Thank you. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> looks back at I looks looks at Astra. Just go. Just goes. A little too young. And, uh, like, three pixies come by, drop a glass in front of him, and one cuts an orange in half, and the other one squeezes it out into the glass. Good and... Chocolate for, uh... Hot chocolate? Who for, are I, I was pointed to, to Astra instead. Oh, I already gave him orange juice because uh, he's not here to really complain. Yeah, fair enough. So Devour's kind of looking at you. Hmm. Will we be leaving the night, or are we staying the night here? That's completely up to you. Housing's free, and you look like you could recover a little bit in a nice, warm bed. Now that would be nice. Uh, fine. I shall take some wine. What kind? Red? White? Oh, red is the best. Reminds Chilled or... It reminds me of my enemies. Hmm. Chilled or cold? Uh, chilled or warm? Or room warm. temp, really? Room, warm. room temp. Kind of snaps his fingers. And out comes... Yeah, it comes. And, oh, Justin! God. Oh, God. I'm trying to think of the words I, I want to use. I refrained from saying something earlier. <laughs> it's too... <laughs> Two vintages come out, and he, he looks at you. Do you want dry or sweet? Hmm. One of both. <laughs> Two glasses drop in front of you from the pixies. Two, and they and the pixies actually pour it this time for you. One from a dusty bottle, and another one from a bottle that seems to be new. I'll try the new bottle first, and then I'm going to go to finish it off with the old because I know the older old one's going to be better. Mm -hmm. The new one is sweet. The old one is very, very dry. And how quickly do you drink both of these? I drink everything except for like one last swallow and both of them pretty quickly. And then I would uh, let the fairy that's still in my shield drink the rest of both. Uh, con save for you. Ready. Actually, not that great of cons. No, that's fine. You barely succeed, anyways. So you're kind of like the the dry the dry one. You can tell it definitely kind of kicked you a little bit, but you're like, all good. I swallow bones whole. Whatever. Um, I'll, I'll put the glass forward for for another fill up on the dry. Another pixie come by comes by and fill it, and you're trying to let the your pixie drink. Full bones. Yes. It takes one whiff of it and then shoots back into your jacket. <laughs> That's what everyone. No, actually, I would have given it the, the the sweeter one first. Yeah, it was almost like it was instinctual. Hmm. Like very like smelled something bad and shot back into you for protection. 
How quickly does Rowan and Ivory drink their drink? Uh, I would have... Uh, what kind of glass? Was it a shot glass or was it like a horror? No, it's, a, it's an actual sc scotch it's glass. A sipping glass. I would say there's about three shots in it. A scotch glass. Uh, th think of think of the cups that we have back at the that at our place, Justin. Like okay, the, Hori's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, <laughs> short, short wides. Okay. It's uh, I, I'm trying to look up the name of it real quick. It's it's a uh, Glen Carn, Glen Glen Thurn. Thank you. It's oh, a whiskey okay. glass, but with a, a but it's the maybe I should just post a picture almost because <laughs> this is definitely will fit your uh, your. Uh... <laughs> this is one problem with an non-alcoholic playing. Uh, D and D. So this yeah, is gonna go in the D and D chat if I'll it'll honest, load. I've never there really had wine. Neither have I. I've, I've, I've only had, had I've, cheap wine when I was I've in had all, I've, I've had, like, probably five different kinds. Cheap, expensive, boxed, red, white, sweet, not sweet, hella fucking dry. You like it? How can I, wine be dry uh, as wet, isn't it? Dry as in it, it goes... It it's like, 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 no, it's more like it's... Uh, it tastes like rubbing alcohol because you can get wine to be really fermented. I mean, wine can get to like twelve percent, twenty percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so yeah. there, there is wine. You actually have to eat really creamy cheese in order to drink it because it cuts through the coating on your tongue that cheese creates. What the I have, fuck? Yeah, no, I have rich relatives that took us to a really nice winery and they bought like a, a cheese for us, and, and you had to eat it before you drank the wine because of how dry it was. Because the notes went well with the cheese. I've that's always like, wondered why cheese went with wine. Yeah, that's like wine connoisseur. Yeah, it's because when you eat, it's, there's a certain cheese you eat. You can't just eat American cheese. It's like Havarti or whatever. And what it does is it creates a, a thi like a film of cream on your tongue because it's thick. And then you drink the wine that's dry, so you only get the sweet notes from it. But it also gets you fucked up because it's dry. Meaning higher, higher, higher alcohol content. I should ask you to take to to show me wine that you actually enjoy because I haven't been able to find one I like. I like sweet reds, like semi sweet reds, because then I don't need to eat for it. It's kind of just a nice because if you get drunk on like wine, you get a nice light feeling. You feel like you're on a cloud. It's nice. Because <laughs> I've only ever gotten drunk off of. Uh, God damn it, uh, uh, rum or yeah, shots of I'll whiskey. I like whiskey because it makes me more um, sociable and less depressed. <laughs> I wish I could drink anymore because that would help my depression. But I can't stomach it anymore. Oh. Or at least I can't Any... stomach what I bought. Anyway. Not Anyways, bro, and how quick are you drinking it? Because <laughs> that's three shots of nice whiskey, uh, of nice scotch. I'm, take, you, you I'm taking tell. my time with it. Okay. Even after you watch Thes to slam back two cups of red. Yes, but it was fucking competition. Fuck! <laughs> Rowan, you're sipping on it. I wasn't <laughs> gonna ask for a Constitution save. Damn. By the time but after I get. Well, let me ask you this: How quickly do you think you'll drink half of that? Because in that glass I submitted, that's about oh, I would say that's about t about two shots. So imagine, yeah, imagine that. Imagine that a little bit more fuller with a with an ice cube in it. How quickly do you think you would drink half of that at that point? Jesus, I, I don't know, a minute or so. That's oh my quick. god, that's pretty quick. You're that's so fast. you're yes, you're so yes. fucked. You're so fucked right now. Like just that the is... glass that you gave yes. me. Yes, yeah, because yes. I told you to pretend it's more full because it's that's two shots in there. That's two shots. I would say say it's a, say add one more shot to that and an ice cube. Uh, alcohol is weird. Yes. Oh. Thank it God is. I don't drink it. I'd be fucked. How often does your character drink anyways? Alcohol. I mean, not that often. I have to stay sober to. Oh. Make a oh. Good shot at. You're like, you're like resting your head on the bar table, just 
just because you feel really lightheaded. Thes does it actually laugh and la and slap his back like <laughs> like I almost want to say like picture an anime of somebody drinking too much sake and that's you right now. Our little bounty hunter cannot handle the alcohol. It's a uh, it's a uh, normally a fix my work. Don't drink on the job. <laughs> well, you're not on the job. Well, normally I am. <laughs> you must have a boring job. <coughs> uh, I have an idea. He has an idea, oh boy. Ah, uh, no, not yet, not yet. Maybe if I was more drunk. Wish I could like find <sighs> whatever. You're gonna see me adding tokens just to help with the fucking scenery. Hey, this <laughs> fee. Oh, there's like there's actual bar patrons. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I was doing like actual characters from another thing. <laughs> All right. Well, as you're doing this, you do. There are people in this in this bar, by the way. And they're all kind of just focused more on the Devourer than you guys right now. Until someone decided to act like they're really drunk. Uh-oh. <laughs> and you said our little bounty hunter is... As soon as you said our little bounty hunter has been drinking, that's when people kind of started looking now. <laughs> I am not apologizing. This is fine. Ivory, Ivory, how quickly are you drinking your ale? <laughs> uh, I feel like that's really the billion dollar question here. <laughs> to be honest, I would say you probably drink... If I was you... Well, actually, I probably shouldn't do that. I probably <laughs> I'm like about to say, this is what you should do. And I'm like, oh, Alex, you're a DM. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's going to take some getting used I mean, to. I mean, I know, I, know I know it's good, so I'm not drinking it fast because I want to savor it because it's not the cheap shit. It's definitely better than the ale you have in your cask right now. Yeah, so I am I'm probably taking my time with this. The devourer kind of looks over to you and he's like, You know we have more. Eh. It's not every day I get to I got to sit and drink some of the best shit around. You do know that my inventory is available to you upon request. Don't say. <laughs> this is this is where my followers meet and discuss certain tasks. Looks at the drunk bounty hunter. Also where they share bounties. Of even bounties that aren't even listed. Or even phenomena that's un irregular. Or those that sell in black market trade and looks at does this. Why are you looking at me for that one? I, I don't know. Why am I? Huh? It's almost like the DM is throwing you a bone for something, and now he's giving away his hand. Hmm. <laughs> I just didn't think that the uh, the black market would have any pages. It's like you almost have a great source of information in front of you. Well, he doesn't like telling me things. How many times has he been honest with you when you when he's brought something up first? How many insights have we done against him? You've done <laughs> none. You have not done hardly exactly. any. I I've done so, I did so when we were in this sing, in the solo conversation. I can count on one hand. Yeah. And you've guys been with him for now two sessions. Anyway, so he, he kind of just looks at you, and all the patrons are kind of starting to kind of like. Eat. Um, I mean, I guess all of you give me a perception check real quick before I give away too much information, like I tend to does, be doing. Does Mister Drunk Boy uh, have disadvantage? 
Actually, honestly, I think it's a straight roll considering that his head is resting on the bar. So he's not really looking at the devourer <laughs> or you. He's looking behind him now. <laughs> so I'm going to allow a straight roll because I gave that description. Ivory, you want to give me a perception? perception? Yep. I can, never, I can never find perception. I always struggle to find it. Yeah, you all notice a lot of people, they're, they're not strictly looking at you, but they are glancing at you, and they all kind of resemble your walks of life that you can tell. Like, Ivory, you can tell that there are some people with the same circlet as you. Some of them even have bigger wings than you, and they're dragonborns. Um, Thesdis, you could see some people with broken circlets. Um, from the uh, with white stones, some people with armbands that seem to have the uh, devourer's symbol on them. Rowan, you can definitely tell some of these people with the way they just with the way they uh, kind of are drinking alone and are writing things down in notes, and even some of them even have bounties in front of them on the table. You can tell they're bounty hunters. Well, you Ronan's guys think I'm going to go to the... Ronan's been drunk before. I don't know. I'm gonna, I, Honestly, I'm about to burst. I have to pee really bad. I'll be right back. You guys can talk amongst yourselves after this information. I'm sorry. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> yeah. Session. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Kirby. <laughs> Watch when I when I start getting some, we'll all go away. No, it won't. It no, doesn't it won't. just go away. If anything, it'll probably get worse because you'll say, <laughs> you'll probably say, "Hey, I can say this now. I've had some." <laughs> He's exactly what you'll say, Justin. <laughs> I mean, I have had some before. Many years ago. In a land far, far away. Times, you know, it, it's... Narnia. It, it's sad, because it, it's kind of getting to the point where I think all of us at this point, except for Josh and, and Alex, are, have been single for a while now. You guys have got, got, are, gotten it up on We have here. different uh, definitions of a while. Mm-hmm. Justin. Eh? Uh, he called you Dustin. D Dustin's the one from Texas that, or that, that, or actually, he's no longer in Texas, oh. actually. Uh, oh, D oh Dustin's, he's in. D Dustin is the one that, ha that has the cat. Okay, Angie. I have a cat. But the one that's always loud. Oh, yeah, that's Benji. Oh! Hmm? I was not expecting you to be there. You find my OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I walked We've... around the corner not expecting to see the boss right there. <laughs> we please because don't. Because he was invisible. <laughs> We please don't talk about how low, how how sensual and low hanging fruit keeps getting lower. It sounds like you're talking about testicles. Ah, <laughs> uh, testicles. Please don't continue that sentence. Thank you. <laughs> What was that? Esther. <laughs> oh, that one was a mistake. Yeah, no, I'm I'm excited for for what for what Josh has in store. 
Uh, just just as Josh holds all the secrets for your campaign, Irby, I now hold all the secrets for his campaign. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't know all the secrets, but he knows a lot of them. Mm-hmm. I told Josh the uh, riddle of the reality stone. He got it immediately. Almost immediately, but yeah. Um, which kind of makes... <laughs> nothing less from Justin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what am oh I God, missing the... from the riddle then? What do you I mean? Think, uh, four I... extra lines. Because I, cause, no, I, what I was saying is like I figured that I actually had it pretty in the bag with what she gave me, but uh, then Josh told me it's not quite that. I'm like, oh fuck, what am I missing then? Yeah, it's not a lightning bolt. Fuck. What are you guys, are you guys talking about? Uh, sorry, we were discussing other things, so we ran out of things to discuss for this campaign. Okay. Uh. <laughs> So what do you guys do next? Or is every or did Jacob leave? No, I'm still here. Alright, what do you guys do? Um, I guess I'll go before I get too drunk off of this next class, um go talk to the uh Speaking of, how much money do we have? Did you guys not roll for gold? I mean we did, but we haven't gained any money since then, so I only have hundred and fifty gold. I have hundred and forty. Oh fuck, that's right. You guys uh, never really nothing. looted. You guys never really looted the bodies for gold either. Uh, we kind of did. We looked for anything useful. You never told us that they had gold on them. Well, did you? Always... I thought you guys were mostly asking for weapons. You asked for like we asked for things. anything of value. I think money counts. Uh, I was thinking about objects. <laughs> <laughs> I think money counts as objects. Does as as monetary yeah, let, value? Let, let, does it let, not? Let let the new DM recover from this. <laughs> You're the fine. devourer lo- the devourer looks at you and he's like, "Oh, how are you guys going to pay? Oh, that's right, I forgot to pay you." And he begins kind of shuffling around and a and a and a pixie kind of hulks over with a fucking big bag of gold. Thank you, God. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I guess I should have rem- asked you about that. Like, hey, what are we going to get paid, by the way? No, this is not how much gold you each get. Damn. This is severity to see how much gold you potentially could get. So, I'm going to say out of looting. Ah, uh, Alex, you need to get better at gold quantities. <laughs> uh, I would say when it comes to looting, if you guys split the gold, you each get five gold pieces. Okay, okay. Fifty uh, gold pieces equals one pound. Uh huh. And out of the and out of the gold the devourer is going to give you, he gives you twenty five gold pieces each. So oh, in shit. total, thirty gold pieces. 70. Um, I will message Josh and tell him he gets to add thirty gold to his inventory. So we're getting thirty gold each, is what I heard. And mm. in total, yes, from the looting and from what the devourer paid you. Now I shall go find the uh, black market dealer. He didn't say there was a black market dealer. He mentioned it, that you can buy stuff off of here. He didn't point out a dealer. Oh, I would ask for the dealer then. I'll I'll ask what he meant by the black market. Well, there's there's several markets and uh, black market's kind of a loose term. It's 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 mostly I call it that way because you know my pixies are black and anyways it's a play on words. You'll find that market only here, and if you want to meet them, well they're uh, they're right in that back room. And he points to um, this room over here. Okay, I will stand up and make sure to knock first. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna drag Rowan with me. Okay. Because, just because. Your your movement speed is halved because you are dragging him. I know. <laughs> um, let me find a good token. <laughs> and here's why I'm taking him with me. I'm using him to knock on the door. <laughs> You're using him to knock on the door? <laughs> Basically, I'm slamming him up against the door. I just yeah, I chuck him against it. Bump. What? Are you trying to knock it down? No, I'm just trying to knock. 
you can go what back do to you want? Uh, do no, what, what do you want? Uh, like, uh, the trade. door is not open. It's actually locked. Ah, to trade. And what do you have? Money. And maybe information? I don't know. I have plenty of information. How much money? Uh, 180. It's gold pieces. Is that for... Then... Okay, but actually, no. He would open... He, um, you would hear it... Uh, hear like a... And it opens. Okay. I'll, I'll look back at Rowan, who's now slumped against the floor. Like, you can go back to your seat, though. He sees this and he tells him, No, he must come in, too. Oh, well, I'll dr drag him through then. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you see a whole bunch of fine cheeses, meats. It smells like um, like a smokehouse in here. And you hear that same uh, whooshing noise and the door closes and locks. Mm, I don't hand. lack that yet. It's just magic hand. Or mage hand. Yeah, and he's on this bench here, kind of laid out eating grapes, and he's like, So what do you want? I'm looking for some information, some uh, pages, journal pages to be precise. So are you looking for journal pages from a king, a queen, a distant lover, um, messages from outside, inside, from I, the pirate I, kingdom, down west, down south, I, down west, maybe I, someone from the devourer himself, other followers. I'm just going to uh, cross my arms. Specific. I'm going to cross my arms away for him to finish. Well, looking, which one do you want? I'm looking for notes for the... Uh, for a lady by the name of Thelmina. Oh, you're looking for those pages. 180 coin ain't going to cut it. Mm. I do have page one through mm, five in my possession as well. He drops his grapes and his mouth is just wide open. How much are you willing to sell those for? I'm willing to part with maybe some of them. Yeah, However, some of I... them is... only have two pages. Hmm. He will. He does actively cut you off. This isn't Alex. He does Wait, actively. What did he say? Off. He's like, you said you had two pages. Some means you have more. I said one through five. Mm -hmm. You did. Okay, drunk boy, you can sit back and relax. Let the grown-ups talk. <laughs> Excuse now, I'm, I'm willing to maybe part with some of these if I can get my hands on some other ones. However, I will need some time to copy the actual contents of the pages to new pages, since I wish to keep track of all the information. I'm sorry, wait, you haven't, you haven't grabbed, you haven't wrote the copies down yet, and how long have you had these? For quite some time. Surprised no one else decided to cut your head off and take them. Throwing face palms. I'm, He's like, I don't... I'm very quiet about having them. But <sighs> since you and I work for the same person right now, I figured you could be trusted with that information. You don't see any tattoos on him. I see no reason why he would sell information on the fact that I have these pages. Well, I'll tell you right now, I have none. I have no pages. Absolutely none. That is a shame. But if you're willing to sell me one, uh, all five of them, I will give you information on where you may find more. But I need to know which volume you have. Which days, to be exact. That's exactly what they said. Day one through five. Oh, you, I thought you should have just said one through five. I said day one through five. And I have neglected to say the... the yeah, I, I know. I know. I'm looking back at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, hmm. Those are... He gives you... He, he, he holds up five gold coins and he's like, these five will be just for you to tell me where you found them. Hmm. 
I do not suppose that that would there be any harm in that, since there are no more there. I have doubled, tripled, tripled, and quadruple checked. I'll tell them the location of where I found the pages. Do you even know the location? Uh, you just told me on the pilgrimage that I took. So you found them in the mountain itself, okay. in a nook. Mm-hmm. So I will. So you tell so you tell him that. I will say that. He would toss you all five gold coins, and he's like, "Wow, they've been looking. There, they've been looking for those forever." Do you know which ones have already been found by other people? Well, of course, people like you come to me all the time. I actually don't buy the pages. I usually just seek information on them. Only a small group of people really want to buy them, and usually they don't have much coin to begin with. Mm. You will want to look for... And he extends his hand. For gold. Oh. Oh, like an like open palm for gold. I'll th- toss him back the five gold that he gave me. And he looks at it, and he's like, "Oh, a tip! And he puts it in his hand and extends his hand more. You're going to need to give me a little bit more for the information you want. I'm going to need to judge that. Uh, inside, I guess. Mm-hmm. How much he's con- he's considering. And if you're trying to go against its, uh, or uh, it's deception, I guess, or maybe persuasion. Depending on what he's, if he's trying to swindle me versus bargain with me. I'm going to roll and you're not going to know what it is. Okay, okay. You can tell he's a keeper of information. He has no objects in this room. So use that information as you will. I meant mostly like how much is he actually considering me paying for this. Would it even be able to give you like a like not I guess not an approx quantity, would it? He's extending his hand, but the way his hand is, it it's flat with slightly with a curve in it, meaning he wants you to fill it. I'll give you that. I'll I'll toss him fifteen more. He kinda so, pats it, throws total. it back. He kinda grabs it, looks at it, puts it back in his shirt. You're gonna want to look for more clerics. Um, maybe ones that are maybe in the bar. The, a lot of the people like you that leave their uh, foundation usually seek information from the devourer when they're desperate. Your your priests really have a reputation for hiding things, and when people find more information, they tend to seek other outlets to find what they. Any kind of chuckles to himself. What they what they desire. You make as I see, good the puns as the devourer does. I work a lot with him, but see, seeing that you're an initiate, you might want to utilize the information that you might find in this establishment. You see, and he looks back at he looks at Rowan. He's like, you can find a lot of things not typically posted in the normal world here. Things that might be more valuable. And he looks back at this. this. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm going to toss him another 10 gold. It's like, I'd prefer it if you do not tell anyone how many pages I have on in my possession. He looks at the gold and tosses it back. Ideal information. I won't tell them you have five pages. But I will. But if people look for information on the pages, I'll, I'll tell them I've met a cleric. And he kind of sits back and starts eating the grapes again. Mm, that's the best as I can get from that. Come, Rowan, be- unless you have business with him. And before you leave, he tells you, "Look for the clerics in the bar. They have the best information. I'll give you that one for free." Mm. And he kind of chuckles to himself as he's eating the grapes. Okay. Uh, unless Rowan has anything for him, or like stops, Des is, Des is gonna start tracking him out again. Oh god, I'm gonna try to walk out myself. What would that be? Would that be in athletics or in acrobatics? <laughs> well, it's an eight. I want to say acrobatics. Acrobatics? Can I re-roll that? No. Oh, you can. Re- I'll your, let you re-roll your, it. What's your plus? Aww. <laughs> I still want to see him because he's better at acrobatics. I oh, no, yeah, tell. he's way better than I am. 
Oh, it would have <laughs> been funnier if they ate. Nah, acrobatics. You kind of get up, but he he. You definitely don't hide that you're kind of bow legging it. Mm -hmm. So, I'd... so you're kind of like having like there are a few times where you kind of have to put your arm out because I'm having you do that. Oh wait. I was going to have you do it at disadvantage, but it's between a 15 and a 19. Never mind you. You do a good job at putting a show on of walking out straight. Mm -hmm. As soon as you leave, you do hear that whooshing sound and the door slamming and locking. And as you do that, these two these two tables kind of like kind of glare at both of you. And you can see that the, the tattoos on them and each of them each have more than two, wing, uh, two wings filled in. Oh. And we only have one right, wing, right? Yes. So they are two, one two. level above us. Above us. I'm assuming that means that that we're that he's not uh, some something that. Uh, uh, why don't you give me an in? Why don't you give me an insight, does does? Right. Oh wow. Okay. So you can tell it's not like they're judging you; they're gauging you. And with that, I'll tell you it's mostly like your prowess. I'm not even gonna give demeanor. them the. T I'm not even gonna give them the time of day. I'm basically basically if if I see them glance at, I'm going to look at them, and then look away, like if they look at me. No, no, no they're not. They're not gonna even skip a glance. They're staring direct. They're like yeah. staring directly at you. Basically, I look at them, go hmm, and then walk away, towards whenever I see them staring at me, like being unfazed by it. That role is for Astra. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you guys. So, uh, Ivory, uh, how much have you had to drink now? I would say they were in there for probably about 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Ivory is probably, like, at this point, dragged himself to sleep because he's had so much to drink. Okay, so how many cups? I I don't know. Roll me, a, roll, me a D, roll me a D100 for me. No, a D10. Roll me a D10. <laughs> <laughs> D100? Jesus, you're confident. I'm not saying that's how many glasses. I was gonna go for a percentage, but D10. Uh, you, you like you said, you were sipping on it. You were enjoying it a little bit. But uh, roll me a Constitution now with disadvantage. All right. Here we not go. Gonna... Here we go. I only have a plus four to this. Hey. You're definitely not as drunk as Rowan. But the you're starting to see the t two of the devour as the devourers kind of look at you and he's kind of sipping from a from a fine. He's actually drinking directly from a cask, but he's holding it with one hand and like kind of swirling it around like it was a fine like glass of wine. And he's kind of just looking at you, Ivory. And he's just like, all right. Kind of, and um, I will say you guys haven't approached when he does this, but he goes kind of goes towards Ivory, and he's like, "Do you see anything you like here?" <laughs> and he kind of, <laughs> and he looks, he looks towards everyone drinking. Yeah, it's like yeah, the booze. <laughs> Do you even attempt to look at where everyone's drinking? Yeah, I, I would I would look over, but I don't know with me being how far god I am if I would, you know, pr be able to process what they're actually <laughs> drinking. Give me an insight with this advantage. I am terrible at these. Roll a three. Roll a three. Oh. Rupert Rooney. The devourer literally gra like sets your drink down for you, twists your head to this corner, and there is a dragonborn about twice your size. He has the same circlet as you, but it, like he's probably the size of a baby dragon, if that. And when you look at him, he has four wings filled out on his tattoo, and he pretty much takes up the whole section over there. Yeah, he, uh, he's he, he's he's so far gone as it like. Bro, dude, faces like that's fucking rad. You started working for me a year ago. Let's see if you can get that fast. Get back, get yeah, get your power that fast. Dragon wormlings are medium. Yeah. 
Uh, some some dr babe, uh, wormlings are large, like red dragons and white. I would say that you two do see that he did that to uh, to Ivory, but Ivory is kind of like his eyes are. You can tell his eyes are kind of like bloodshot and kind of wavering. Hmm. So I'll say that you guys. I'll move your characters for you. I was gonna say Show I wasn't gonna go back to the bar just yet. I was gonna go talk to the other clerics. There you go. All right. Do you help Rowan back to his seat? Uh, he said he got it. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I'll let him. Okay, Rowan. Yeah. All you guys move your tokens individually. Like they're all medium. Young ones are large though. Mm. <coughs> Are you going to walk back to your seat, Rowan, without my help? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sit where you are sitting. Power <laughs> move. Uh, the Devourer sees us and pours you and Ivory shots. And he pours himself I... one. Okay. And he's like, toast! And he looks at the whole 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 room. Um, Ivory, move halfway to where you're planning on going. Or not Ivory, sorry. Thesdis. Uh, where, where are the clerics? Give me a perception. I'll let you do that first. Right here. In front of the fireplace. Alright, 5, 10, 15. You're probably there. This is where I'd get okay. Yep. So, uh, as the, as you're walking there, the Devourer pours shots for uh, Rowan and Ivory. And pours himself one. He holds the glass up and he's like, To new recruits! <laughs> May they seek what they desire. And everyone kind of holds their glass up and they say, to their desires. And everyone takes a drink. I guess uh, I'll take a drink of, of the dry wine in my hand. <laughs> you can hear like an audible, ah, wah, ah, to some from some people who can't hold their liquor. Uh, that reminds me, uh, Rowan and Ivory, give me a constitution save at disadvantage. Do I also oh. need to do ma oh. make one since I si I sip this one? Nope, because a shot, uh, because a si uh, a drink of wine like that doesn't matter. Rowan, you're passed out on the bar. Oh my god! Boom. Yep, you That's... take one sip and you actually drop your glass and pass the fuck out. That's too Ivory, you're kind of resting your head and you're feeling real nice right now, but you're just resting it on the on the nice cool bar. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta roll one for Astra. Wait, Astra's Astra's young. Excuse me, child. Just drinking orange juice. Did That's you spike, spike the, the orange, orange juice? juice? Yep, Astra's uh, kind of laying out on the stool now. <laughs> you fucker! Uh, Why would you spike the child? Josh was here. I'd tell him exactly what to do. The orange juice. I'll tell you guys right now. It wasn't spiked. Oh, wait. What is it then? <laughs> All right, I'll give it away because I thought this was funny. It's a fermented orange. Uh, uh. <laughs> what the fuck? So that like might... orange wine? <laughs> kind of. It's um, if you leave vegetables out in a um uh, a a, dr a, 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 like a dry place. What? Say that one more time. Say what one more time? Vegetable. I say I didn't say vegetable. Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. Oh fuck! Fruit. <laughs> if you leave a fruit out in a dry, cool place for long enough, it ferments from the inside, assuming nothing gets to it. Uh -huh. Just like peaches do the same thing, grapes, all that kind of stuff. So when the so what the pixies did was is they basically grabbed a rotten orange and squeezed it into a glass for the small child. <laughs> <laughs> so less of drunk and more of I'm I feel sick. It's a, actually a mix of both. Because he's also a, she's also a small child. God. That's why only one orange is going to do it. Bears get drunk off of fermented peaches. Yeah, that's the thing. Yep. I know I uh, squirrels do it off of fermented crab apples. Yep. And that's exactly what happened to this little girl. Oh, God. Alright, Pezdis, you're like pretty much the only one that's conscious. I, I, you said I was still conscious. Yeah, just... but you're laying out on the bar like, yeah, this is fucking great. <laughs> So yeah, I guess you're right, you're right, you're conscious. What the? Like, Fizz would just l stop and look over at the, the entire party just fucking passed out. Uh, it's like babysitting children in the monastery again. 
then I'll move over to the table then. Give me a perception check. Perception. Man, I'm rolling like crap. You'll notice that there are, are two white pixies on the table. And the two clerics will kind of look at you with a little bit of spite. As the, as both of their... Uh, one of them has a circlet, one of them has a bracer, and both of them are cracked with the white stone. I'll set my pixie out uh, uh, from the shield on the table. Sit down. Kind of, Your pixie squeaks at you a little bit. Like it's uncomfortable. I'll give it a finger. It doesn't, it's not even interested. It's just kind of, it has an anxious look to it. All right, fine. I'll scoop but it, but it's, put it on my shoulder. All right. It feels, it kind of, it, it kind of just kind of goes underneath your neck and looks at the other pixies on the table, just munching on bone. All right. Uh, looking to them. So, the both of you have left the, the, uh, what, what's the best way to fucking call the church? Because I don't know if you gave me a, uh actual name yet. yeah I haven't given you a handout yet no it, it, it's more of uh, how you would describe it cult no it wouldn't be a cult because no one really conf no one says their religion's a cult <laughs> I would say in this day and age it's more of a, a, the following of the fake queen so it'd be like did you leave the following Hello, what made friend. you yeah. fucking I'm getting followed harassed by a fucking bot Sounds uh, right. Uh, um, like, oh, did you two leave the following then? They each look at each other and look at you, and they look at your circlet, and they just ignore you and take a drink. Oh, hello, friend. I have some questions, and maybe you have some journal pages that I'd be interested in reading. They stop taking a drink and set their cups down so have you left the following yet no because I need more information from them whether it's lies or not it's always good to get both sides of a story to make your own to find the truth yourself and what pages do you have to offer the other one says more as a trade or are you talking just to show and they both they both take out scrolls in their pockets, and they put them away quickly. So if you want, you give me an insight or a perception on that. Uh, depends which, on what, what information. It depends which, on what information you're looking for when they pulled it out. Why? Why are they pulling it out and putting it away immediately? I guess. Well, you asked if they had information or not. It's you can see it's almost like a, a cop showing their badge. Ah. So I don't even need to insight that. Uh, I guess I'll perception to see if it's if it's actually similar to to, to mine. It's the same parchment. So it it is. Which you can you can age it. You know, it's just worn parchment. Hmm. But it, with that, but that's why I asked you to ask perception or insight because you don't know if those are the same pages as yours. You can just tell that they're the same. It's the same kind of parchment aged. The, I w the only reason colored. why I was thinking insight is whether or not the. Why they took it out and put it away, but then you answered that with the cop showing the badge. So I guess all perception to, with the slight with that flash they showed to see if it was real. Yep. So you can tell it's it's the same parchment and mm. such, but yeah. what's that one for? That for the perception, like you said. When did you roll that fifteen then? The fifteen was from earlier when I sat down. Oh well, either way, it was a little DC, anyways. So yeah. Yeah. So they kind of they kind of show it out, and so it's the same thing. They show you the parchment, and they put it away. That's all you can see. Is just mm. they pull out paper. Is what you see. I I would um, pull out a my journal where I have the pages in, and put tuck it back in. Let us see the writing. Mm. What about yours? You came to our table. The other Indeed. one says. Indeed. However, you're asking me for my information. How do I know that your information is not 
falsified yourself. One leans forward and it's like, I saw you leave the informationist's room. He either pointed us in your direction or recommended you look for people like us, so I think it's fair to say we're more legitimate than you, new timer. That's where I'll smile and like, I guess you will not know then, will you? They both chuck their drink in and slam their drink and say, that's a damn shame, and they go to pick up their pixies. Fine. Just so you know, by the way, I have pages that even he has not seen yet, and I'll just continue to sip my wine as if they continue to, to move away. Does that interest them? Oh. The one of them, one of them stops very assertively and grabs the other one by the shoulder, and kind of whispers to him, and he comes sits back down. Not that you need to, sh and they both sit down, and, and they both take, and one of them takes their pixie out, the one that rolled the d twenty, mm -hmm. and at twenty, and he takes out his pixie, and he's like, "You don't need to show the, the the what's written on them, but show me the paper again." I will pull out the journal, and with the with the notes pa face down, I will show the papers. He puts his he kind of tosses his pixie up and it lands on your paper. The pixie smells it and jumps back to him, and does like a. Oh, would this be? Are you watching him do this whole whole thing? Oh yeah, as long as I'm he doesn't see... attempt to destroy the paper, I I allow it. I'll say roll a perception then, okay. or not sorry insight insight roll insight. Damn it! What the fuck? I'm rolling like ass today. You see the pixie go on your paper, smell it, and then go on the other side of his um, shoulder. You don't see what the pixie does, but he looks at you with more confidence. And he looks at his friend and he nods his head. No. And they I... say, so what number of pages, what, what days do you have? I have day one through five. They both kind of have like a blank expression on their face, kind of a mix of disbelief and uh, and uh, and uh, like a, a disbelief and also just relief. Why relief? Oh, oh they kind of ask that out loud. So do you try to um with like, are you trying to be silent when you say what pages you have? Oh yeah, I I would have said it only so that way the two of the the two of them could hear. Give me a stealth then. Okay. Fuck you! Uh, God damn it! As soon as you say that, you hear two drinks behind you stop. Like you just hear some, like you know, it's 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 a loud place. Like people are talking with one another. Some of them are just drinking. Uh, roll me a perception now. I definitely would have put my hand on the, my papers and turned around to look at them. You would hear these two people over here mm -hmm. suddenly stop. Like they were talking. Dead silent. I'll I'll look at them again since they looked at me they looked at me earlier and just flash them a smile and turn back to my business. Yeah, with that twenty two because you looked over, this guy has a white pixie in his in his shirt. Its head is like just slightly peeking out. And these two these two look at each other and look at you and be like, "We'll have to meet somewhere else when we when we talk about this." Probably be preferable. They get up and, and and walk away, and um, you'll you'll recognize them when you see them next. I didn't mm. expect I'll, to I'll put away my uh, my journal, uh, and tuck it back inside my uh, armor pocket. Um, hang on a second. I need to see what I want to do so that way you can. One of them writes a note and just leaves it on the on the table. I probably wouldn't even look at it. I'd put it inside the book. Before putting it away. Yeah, I'll, I'll write in Discord. Uh, where are you? There we go. I'm gonna write in the Discord. Oh, hang on a second. Ah. You got it, buddy. 
Mostly because it's some such shit at. I'm also shit at spelling. Uh, anyways, what do you do after that? Um, I would stand up. Uh, did you send me the note, or are you sending me that later? I'm doing it right now. Okay. I'm just I'm just trying to get the ball rolling for everyone yep. else. Yep. Uh, I'll go ahead and stand up and look over to the to the the one with the white fairy and like and make a motion of Do you need to come talk to me? They kind of scuff at you and keep drinking. They have a more of a look of uh, it's a mix of jealousy and. Uh, Je jealousy and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Envy. And jealousy and yeah, envy, envy probably. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a mental note of those two in particular. Um. As I sit back down at the bar, I'll probably look at the note that the cleric drop drop me. And I would uh, offhandedly ask the devourer about the ones in the corner. Well, you have to be a little bit more specific with your wording. The, the ones on the red couch. What about them? Mm, nothing. They just seem interested in so something that they have. Well, you weren't very quiet about your pages. Mm, I know. I tried. I mean, I'm, now there's I'm not exactly a subtle person. No, not with a bone not with a shield made of bones, especially fresh but fresh bones. And a few arrowheads still stuck in them. Eh, structural integrity. I suppose. I'll warn you these are not the only clerics that seek those pages. Some of them seek it for knowledge, history, revenge. It's quite wide reaching. I think you've already noticed that they all have the same companion. I'm surprised that my fa wait was my fairy white as well now. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to double check that. But you would have uh, some rare information when it comes to your notes that you would have noticed. Say wait, say that again. In your notes, it my says notes. something about pa pale fairies. Uh, which one? Which one? Mount Sacred, note from Pixie. Ardenna, I s you might not have sent it to me yet. Um. What the fuck? I thought I wrote it in here. Because all you said inside the pages were was about black fairy, fairies. Wait, I'll be honest. Um, if no one has seen these pages, how the hell do they know the name that I said? I, I you only thought... said you only you only said Thelmina to the uh, yeah yeah, to yeah. The, the black I market know. guy. I know. I'm re-looking at the pages. Day five, she stops recall calling herself that. I might have made a noopsie. That's only the pages you know of, dude. Well, I, I was just thinking, like, if she stopped saying it on day five, she probably wouldn't say it again. She wouldn't remember later on, maybe, I guess. You don't know, though. That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to put in your head is the questions you're asking. I'm not going to yeah. answer them. Okay. Cause, no, it was more of the fact that I completely forgot. I looked. I only looked through, like, day one through three. I'm like, yeah, yeah, she keeps it. And then I just really read number five. I'm like, oh, fuck. She never said it after that point. Fuck. I really <laughs> fucked up. Is basically how I took it. You that. only, you only, I mean, you only asked the, uh, the, the black market dealer. That's it. Right. Which, he, which is why he, I didn't know if that changed his answer, because whether or not he's heard of that name before. I think I did an oopsie because I didn't write it in your notes. Whoopsie. What oopsie? Nothing. I'm not going to say it, so that way it doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so you go back to the Devourer, and he you know, he gives you that information. There are other clerics that ask about that. He gives you, like, pixies, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. 
but I you might want to keep the name a little bit more private. Mm, Tis the plan. Um, uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask him. Like, is there any way that you could send me somewhere tonight, and then I come back here after a bit? Once I send you out of this place, the only way you get back is from a messenger. Unless you want to see Roderick again, Which you he... might want to go. You might want to go in the morning. Okay. Um, can you show me the map again, real quick? Yeah. Because I, because he never told us where he's going to be dropping us off, right? He's yeah. No, he he didn't say anything. Uh, I would ask him like what he did, he still he still doesn't understand exactly where you guys want to be. Still, he said you guys wanted to go to Mount Sacred. Right. We yeah. And then we, he told us to go to Mount Sacred Checkpoint for the mission. Mm-hmm. That's that's what he told Rowan for his bounty. Ah. So I, uh, I'll, 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 I guess we'll ask him now. Like, hey, where are you dropping us off in the morning? I can only send you so far within my own region. If I send you any further, people will think my reach is too far, get paranoid, that sort of thing. I like to keep so things how far a little bit more that? down. Well, I think you can see that a lot of names of major cities kind of follow my own. I don't like to go as far. I mean, the farthest I would be willing to go would be the Forgotten Forest where you came from. But Paradise Palace... That's not some place I would like to drop you off. Mm. See, if I do that, they know you're working with me, and people might not like that. They might become mm. targets. Maybe just the day travel outside of Hours Delve, then. Outside, like towards Paradise Palace, or mm. a day's travel on the path before. Devours not on the Delve. path, off the path. Probably towards the uh, west. He pulls out a map and slams it in front of you. Maybe just point to me where you want it. Okay. Oh, off the path. Oh. Yes, that's what I told you. I said off the path. Yes, then he points over here. This is off the path. And this I is said, off the path. I said, and then I said the whist. This is off the path. And then I said This whist. is off the path. And then I said whist. I'm sorry, you're and I would just I would just continue to say, and then I said the whist. After every single time he points somewhere that isn't to the west. Your lizard tongue makes it hard to understand you sometimes. Mm, and your bullshittery is very uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable. What is the word? Your language sometimes is confusing. Kind of gets close to you, and it's like, you better get you to it. Gives you a peck on the cheek. How's the scales? Hmm, tasty. <laughs> I haven't had lizard folk in a while. That made me shudder. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you wake up with your party, what is it? The 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 the, the demons of desire. Ooh, I like that already. When you both all wake up, maybe with a minor headache, you can decide where you want to be left off. But maybe we should get you to bed. Everyone else seems to be uh, mm, look everyone that everyone that's passed out. Oops, that's the wrong tab. Mm, perhaps. Yeah. Though I'll be honest, at this point, I'm the only one that's able to make coherent decisions at the moment. That's fine, you all get your own rooms anyways. And he snaps his fingers and uh, fairies begin to flutter around you. So, and he looks at everyone, and the only two people that are cognizant still is Ivory and Thesdas. He just asks basically both of you, you will want to call it a night? It, it, it would be kind of just a slow head shake at this point. <laughs> Wonderful. And he lo and he's like, before I do, he kind of digs into um his little rack of booze, and he just quickly tosses you a, a, a strong bottle of, of wine, Thesdas. Mm. To help mm. you sleep. Oh, trust me. I can hold on to this, though. Uh, whatever you desire. Snaps his fingers, and you guys are all in suites. It's a big-ass fuck. You're in a big-ass room with a king-size bed and couch. Um, there's even already food laid out for the morning. And um, it's 9.47, so we can call it here if you yeah, want. I think it's probably the best. Um, the first, uh, I'll, I'm going to make sure that the room's actually secure and everything before I, before that. There's not even a, 
there's not even a door. No window, no door? There's a window, but it's completely sealed, and you can see the outside of it, and it's rotating. Like, the building itself is rotating. Hmm. And you can tell, you, you can see... How long do you look out the window? Probably for a while, depending on what I see. You can see a forest, you can see a bridge on the... Here, maybe I should just show you the... Map again? Yeah. So you'll you'll see a forest, you keep going, you see a large bridge, then a, then desert, a little bit of light coming from over here. Um, and then you keep going, you see flame, like a light, like flames coming from over here, light desert, and then, you know, back to the... Back to a river, forest, ocean, bridge. Gotcha. Desert. All right, I will go ahead and uh, there. There's some uh, curtains for the window, right? Yeah, I'll curtains. Go ahead, I'll go ahead and close that and take the ten minutes it takes to take off my armor for the first time in weeks. Well, we. And I'll probably actually spend some time cleaning that off. There's like there there would be like a, it's kind of weird, but it, there's a bath with water already in it. Hmm. And it's steaming, for all of you. I mean, you're all passed out. I'm sure Ivory saw the bed and was just like, "Fuck yeah!" and jumped on it and passed out. Probably. Yeah. So that does this. That'd probably be the f that'd be the first thing I'd fucking do in your case. So Thesdus, you would if you explored the room, you'd see like this nice warm bathtub full of warm water. So I'm the only one that's actually gonna be able to enjoy this room. Everyone else is gonna wake up in the morning, want to die. And I mean, who, who says I can't out. wake up in the morning and take a bath? We might not yeah. might not be given the choice. We might just be taken out immediately after a bit of time. Seems like somebody is assuming. I'm just, I'm just saying that that would be exactly what I would do if I was the dickhole that runs this place. Like, oh, you guys didn't get it to it last night. Oh, sorry. I'm giving All you guys. Go. I'm giving you guys free booze, free items, thirty gold for doing basically almost nothing, and you guys. What do you mean all, almost nothing? Whole we bunch fought, of in, whole bunch of items fought, and information, and you don't think I'll let you stay next to Challenges. Night? We fought deadly challenges for our level. Multiple of them. Only one of you went down. Yeah, but multiple de deadly challenges compared to our level and skill. All right, fine. We did right. a lot. Fine, you did. You did some. You guys did some battles, but I don't think I've been that much of an asshole. Uh, you ripped the girl's heart out, and then chucked her body out a window. Yeah, she's worthless at that point. Could have at least given her a proper burial. Okay, mister, I use bones for my shield. What about those people that use they were skins? Assholes. They were assholes and attacked us first. And maybe and maybe this girl girl liked to cut the heads off of cats. You don't know. Uh, we don't know because she was killed by you. Why didn't you go out and bury the person? We were at the bottom of the fucking tower. No, we weren't. No, you're on the top of the tower. Yeah, did, didn't we get brought... No. Uh, br you no, think you right. got you felt the, the you, you felt it you felt the descent, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're on the ground level. Also, True. we could have been way out underground. There's a lot of what ifs. So, anyways, that's where we will leave off. You're all in your rooms. Um, Plus, the other I, thing is that this is a house in the middle of a water, so it would have gone into the drink. Ivory and Thesis are the only two that really can uh, truly decide if they're going to enjoy the rooms this night. I'd probably go to bed and wake up and then take a bath. To be honest, this you guys probably like this is probably like nine thirty. Yeah, so he pe so it wouldn't be hard for him to wake up the next morning. I mean if you want to get nine hours of sleep, you're waking up at like six o'clock. Yeah. Six o'clock. Take a yeah. shower. <laughs> so you do you. But yep, that's where we'll leave off. You guys go to your nice rooms. Each of them are designed for you, like to your height, to your even your weight, like your length, weight, width, everything. And those with armor and specific weapons have um, like spots for them. And even your food is designed directly for you. Like Ivory, you probably have a, a like a pitcher of ale and water. 
Bethesda's, you probably have raw meats to the to your liking that you can actually cook on an open grill, like a like in like a like a Japan barbecue, Ooh. Japanese or Korean barbecue. Rowan, you probably have like traveling food, like like Trail jerky meats. and cheese and yeah, <laughs> and good berries. Yeah, whatever you. No, whatever stop! You would no, 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 no. Not good berries. <laughs> God damn it. Not starting this shit again. But you would also see there's even a place for you to tune your bow. Sweet. Like, a, what is it called? A fetcher station? Yeah, sure. usually. Yeah. That would be the correct yeah. term for it. Yeah. Astra, there would be a... In Astra's case, there would be a height chair, you know, gummy bears... <laughs> Maybe even like a dummy that he can stab the shit out of its shins. Hot wheel cars. <laughs> yeah, some hot wheels cars. <laughs> build a bear workshop in the next fucking room. No, a Barbie dollhouse. <laughs> Fuck, I wish I had a build a bear workshop in the next room. But yeah, so it's all kind of customized. You can tell with what little the devourer knew about you. Even there might even be some discrepancies. Like there might even be like a little prayer mat for Thesdis. Ivory, there might be a giant uh, mural of a dragon destroying a village on the ceiling. Rowan, there oh might God. be like pinup models on the on the on the walls. Him, him on a, as a wanted poster. <laughs> yeah, and that's a good idea. <laughs> no, I would say there's probably a want. But there's more than likely like wanted posters of people you've killed. Yeah. Like like bounties you've claimed. I remember that. It's where I got this scar. Maybe even one where you're like, no, that, that's Jim Bob. Why does everybody keep giving me credit for that one? Wait, that's my dad. <laughs> yeah, hey, oh, yeah. Mr. Rowan. <laughs> it's Mr. <laughs> Rowan. <laughs> yeah, so it's, you can find it slightly customized, and maybe there might be a few discrepancies. Like, maybe he guessed at a few things trying his best. But yeah, that's where we'll uh, that's where we'll leave off, and uh, so I will let you know I do have drill next weekend. Okay. So um, next se- and there will be a session on Friday, but I w- but uh, I won't be there on Sunday. Okay. But I will be here. Th- uh, I will be on this Sunday, not next. Su- it's just next Sunday. I won't be this Sunday. I will be. Okay. Sorry, I can't really tell. No- say no to the army. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you tell that to my sergeant, and we'll see how that goes. I just want to be there when you do. Excuse me. Oh uh, yeah, Alex can't make it to drill. Um. Uh. Yeah, he has D and D. He plays and, a bard. And, <laughs> and well, watches you be like, can I play? <laughs> well, you see, if if you get if your sergeant used to be a former tank operator, the answer is probably yes. It's kind of funny. Let's, let's be weird. Real tanks are just basements. A lot of the people I deal with have dealt with it with dealt with like Blackhawks, Apaches, and tanks. But um, the it, it, the 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 funny thing is the army is filled with weebs. I know. It's have you like seen? Have you seen like memes of uh, of yes. tanks having like waifus on them? They're, they're real. They're not fake. I didn't say they were fake. Did I say they're? No, I I know, but that's what you're gonna say is that they're real. No, I mean I've I've seen actual pictures of it too. And some of the people I've talked to have, have been very adamant about, like, that. <laughs> like, like yeah, I, yeah, have you seen this? I'm like, yeah, I've seen that anime, yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are we talking about this? We're in basic training. <laughs> yeah, Frey, I can't wait to go to basic. <laughs> no, like, straight up, I'm, I'm excited for the experience. Because it's, I, I don't think... If, I know if it's gonna I be thought bad, I could but... make it, I would do it, just because the army is a, it does, is a, or at least national uh, National Guard is at least a good opportunity. It teaches you a lot about structure and how to organize your day, as well as get you in shape. Yeah, but at the plus... same time, I don't think I could ma- ma- manage to do it because I don't have the physical capability to. They make sure they actually won't send you unless you uh, unless you pass the test first and stay within your weight class. Like technically, I'm like one to two pounds overweight for what they want, but I'm also wearing I'm like also fully clothed when they take my weight and stuff. But um, they don't send you unless you can pass the basic 
health assessment, like workout regimen. So mm -hmm. you have to squat like I don't know, like eighty five pounds. You have to be able to squat, do ten push ups, um, throw a medicine ball ten. What's it like? I can't remember. I want to say it's like a me. I don't. I can't remember how much, how far you have to throw the medicine ball. But you also have to be able to jump, like eight, eight to eight in, like no, not eight inches, like a, like a foot and a half. It's not really hard to beat, but um, they don't send you unless you're physically capable. And even then, a lot of the people I drill with, they've had like broken tibias, broken hips. But that's, to be honest, a lot of it's from the rappel training. Like when you have to rappel down a rope, people land bad. Mm-hmm. And so, or they fall. Um, I have been told I could get shot, um, so that's good. Great. Yeah, they told me that. They're like, yeah, there's a drill. There's two drills you have to do where it's live, fa live uh, fire, where you have to get to cover with a uh, with somebody and stuff, and they have to provide you cover support while you're running past them. Great. But I've almost already been shot twice, so that's wait, that's huh? lucky you. Don't what did I do? My campaign. What do you mean? What did I do? It's because I went. I go hunting, and people no, don't. No, look I, at said, well, huh? I said, "Wah huh?" I said, "Wah huh?" And he said, "Lucky you." Oh, oh I heard "wah huh," and then you. So I was like, "What? What did you do?" And I was like, "What?" No, no. Um, uh, there was one instance where my brother and I were hunting, and he walked a little further. I walked a little further um, than he did because he was walking slower. And then there was a deer that ran in front of us. So he, I, I looked over my shoulder and I saw him pointing the gun at me. Um. <laughs> And he told me his safety was off because uh, he was ready to shoot a deer, and then he saw me. And then there was another point where I was going. Um, my brother was coming to get me for lunch for hunting, um, and there was a deer in front of him when he was walking towards my stand, and he shot it. And the deer happened to be in the same uh, direction as my stand. Luckily, I didn't leave my stand. I was about 15 feet above the ground. If I was getting down from my stand, he probably would have shot me. Great. But it happens, you know. It's firearms. Yeah. That and I've also like had to do firearm safety with a bunch of people too, and a lot of them po have hey. accidentally pointed guns at me. I I feel like firearm safety training is where 